Well, today is Saturday, June 27, 2009. Uh, tonight was a Hanover fireworks display, and I could really tell it in the attendance here. Uh, we, we, we had a, actually lower attendance on Saturday than we did on Friday, which is, is pretty unusual. Usually Saturday's our big day. So, well, that's the way that goes. Uh, I didn't really get much done around here today except paying bills. Uh, last night, Ed Miller found a, a big piece of crud on, on one of the the frames of, of Pelham 123 and what it been doing was throwing the, the, the film a little bit out of one of the, the sprockets uh, right at the end of, of Pelham 123 and so the credits would start to get all jittery and, and a little bit out of frame. So he found that, I'm glad he did because it would have caused a mess if that had, had messed something up then. Um, really not much else to talk about today. I, I guess uh, that's about it for tonight keep you up for, for, for later on. Hey, tell you what, I'll throw a little video on here of what they did in the back alley the other day. So we'll see what that looks like. Talk to you later. So this is the way the wall used to look. Uh, you can see there's a lot of damage to those bricks there at the bottom and along there where the chimney is. And uh, then it's just old paint on that wall. Look, look at all those bricks that are missing out of there. So what they're going to do is put spray foam over that whole back wall. And here, here they've done part of it, of the top part of it here. They've covered over those windows. You can still kind of see the the form of everything the way it used to be. Kind of just a little bit of shape of the bricks. But you can still, it looks kind of like everything just melted over it. Now here we see they've sprayed the wall top to bottom. That's Ron on the left down by the door and my dad in the plaid shirt on the right. And um, so they've sprayed that whole back wall. Now Ron is out there. This foam uh, will be damaged by the wind and sun and stuff over time. So he's putting a coating over it to protect it. And eventually he'll paint over that so it looks nice. Now he's putting an interface on between the foam and the concrete to allow for expansion.